this process and you actually see the final results in front of you, what was it like? Is there any shining moments you all had that, that you'd care to talk about? Okay, just in case everybody doesn't know, we never let anybody see this. <laughs> Jeff and I stayed under the radar here, so this is the first time everybody's seeing this together. What do you think, Bridget? I thought it was really great. It definitely, like, it's crazy to see, like, how much, you know, I was there just talking for probably two and a half hours, um, and we really did have a great film crew. They were amazing, um, and Jeff was so great, um, and it was just like a conversation to see it all pulled together like that. Um, it was really powerful. It was powerful to see everybody else's stories, um, because I didn't hear anybody about my own. So to see, you know, all of it pulled together and just turn into such a big thing. What? Um, it was just amazing. Um, I'm, I'm honored to be included in, in this project. Uh, Kathy asked me to do it, and I said, absolutely. There's no way I want anyone else to ever have to go through what I went through alone. Um, you know, when, when we went down there to the film, uh, you know, your mind is racing, trying to remember, okay, you know, trying to piece it all together, and it's kind of spotty points. I left there thinking, Man, I forgot this, I forgot that. But it coming together today was just, it was just out of the park. It was awesome, awesome. When I pulled up in the parking lot and saw all the cars, I started crying. I can't thank everybody for coming out today. Um, none of us expected to go through or are going through what we are. I'm one of the fortunate ones that still has my little life. It hasn't been easy. It's been multiple rehabs, and it's going to be a day to day challenge to see that he never goes back to where he was. He's doing pretty well. He's in Austin <laughs> and um, struggling every day to make sure that he doesn't get back on that path. But thank you for coming. Hi, I'd just um, like to say thank you as well, too. And I think my
any of your friends have been? Now, now looking back at what you know about what your life has been since you've used drugs, what, if you go back in time, what would you tell them? I would tell them it's not worth it. The life that we need now is not something I would have wanted for myself five years ago. Jake? Um, I, I would say the same thing. You know, just, just looking back, it's, it's crazy to see now. You know, it's just so easy to get caught up in this lifestyle. It was just leading nowhere. And if I could explain that to my friends, I would tell them. The key about drug testing is not necessarily to catch your kid. It's also to give an excuse. So in other words, if you're drug testing your kids, now your kid has a reason not to try drugs, and it gives them a reason. When, let's face it, most people don't want to do something bad. So it gives them a reason for their peers to say, you know what, now I can't do it because my dad and mom drug test me at home. And if we can just give them one extra chance, maybe it'll help. So, so I don't only think it's like Leslie says of catching somebody for what they're doing. It's perhaps also we should start viewing it as a way to prevent somebody from doing what we hope they don't do. Um, Bridget, how is your daughter? How is she? Yes. She's amazing. She's, um, she was up front here and then she started to fall on so um, not to throw her outside. Um, she's doing good. She's wearing pretty pills today. Thank <laughs> you. 